experience to go into a production of something that you already love and you know is going to be beautiful. I'm standing with the lovely Marie Thomas, and we are so excited that she has won this evening for Knock Me a Kiss for Best Supporting Actress. Can you tell us how that feels tonight? Oh, it feels, it, it's a double-edged sword in that it feels scary, and yet it feels wonderful at the same time. So I was very excited about the entire play, mm -hmm. the production, never thinking about awards because to me, doing the play and doing the part, that's the award. But this is extra special. It's like the cherry on the cake, or cherry on the icing, or icing on the cherry, whichever one. <laughs> okay. Can you tell us what was so special about um, doing Knock Me a Kiss? We know the time period that it was yes. set in, and so please just share with us what that experience was like for you. Um, some time ago, not too long ago, I have a children's theater called Children's Theater Workshop, Peppermint Players. And I really do plays about cultural and social issues, about African-American culture. And I did a piece called The Divine Time, which was the 1920s, the Harlem Renaissance. Mm -hmm. So I did a lot of reading about Du Bois and his family and about all the other poets and, and um, people who were in that particular era. So I knew a lot about his history. So when I came to see what this play was all about, I knew what it was all about because I had experienced it. Plus, Du Bois, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, okay. And he was at Atlanta University and he was there at different times. And he was also there when my father was around. So I used to hear my father talk about him sometimes too. And I went back and I read his um, uh, biography. And many times he would mention things in Atlanta that were very familiar with me. So it was exciting to come and do it and to do it from that era, which I thought was most fascinating here. Where it ran for a year has been made into a movie, is playing in colleges and in prisons up and down the East Coast. And I am here with the cast and director of The Castle. Uh, they just received a special recognition. Thank you so much, for gentlemen, for stopping by. Can you tell us your names and uh, your role with, the, with this piece? David Rothenberg, I'm director of the play, which was conceived at the Fortune Academy, which is a residence for uh, men and women who are out of prison and would otherwise be homeless. Mm, wonderful. Thomas Jones, actor in the play. Kenneth Harrigan um, performing the original cast. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Can you tell us a little bit what the Adelco Awards mean to you all? It's wonderful to have the community recognize the role that we've been playing because we're, when we do the play, always in the audience are young people uh, who learn that they don't have to go the route that the men and women in the play have gone. And, and uh, it's nice to be recognized for the role that we've been making to the community.